this tutorial I will show you the difference between digital primitive gates and digital library gates. First I am picking up one from digital uh, primitives library. I am picking up an AND gate with two inputs and I already know that this is an ideal model of a digital logic gate and it's not exactly behaving in the similar way as those practical gates. And to show you this, I also need an input and I'm selecting a digital clock. And this digital clock I'm connecting to the input of my gate. And to make it as simple as possible, I will connect the inputs together. And I will have this one digital clock as common input to both of my inputs in my gate. And then I will do the transient analysis. And you can see that this circuit is super fast, it reacts immediately, there's no delay, the output and input changes immediately. You can see it even better when I'm narrowing the time scale a little bit from 1 microsecond to 200 nanoseconds. And now you can see that there's no delay, the circuit reacts immediately and that's not the case, of course not, in, in practic with practical circuits. And I can show you that also with microcap 12 by first deleting this ideal gate. Then I will go back to library and this time I'm picking up the component from digital library instead of primitives. And when I'm able to find a suitable gate, I will put it to my, into my circuit and connect it. And then I'm doing the same simulation again you will see the result, there will be a short delay, which is realistic. So it takes a few nanoseconds until the circuit reacts, and that's a normal case.